You're watching White Mountains TV. I'm Chris Prue in the White Mountains TV studios, joined by Deb Williams of Lost River Gorge in North Woodstock, New Hampshire. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. And you guys have a big anniversary this year. Tell me a little bit about that. We are celebrating 100 years of being protected by the Society for the Protection of New Hampshire Forest. Um, back in the early 1900s, when they were logging and the roads were getting had finally gotten to the point where it was going to come through. Mm -hmm. um, the terrain is so fragile and they were worried about it being cut that the Forest Society, through uh, volunteers donating money, purchased Lost River and so it's been protected for a hundred years and it's a really neat combination because people, we have anywhere from 60 to 70,000 people a year come wow. through and it's having a property that's open to the public but yet it's being taken care of to preserve it for future generations. Right, and now it's part of the White Mountain attractions. Uh, one of the amazing natural attractions here in the White Mountains, something that you won't experience anywhere else. Tell, tell us a little bit about the attraction itself. How does one enjoy Lost River Gorge? Well, um, it's a three-quarter mile walk and you go down 300 feet into the gorge and there's a series of 11 different caves that you can choose to go in and out of and you can do anything from walk in and out of them to get down on your hands and knees and some of them you go through your on your belly also. And the longest one is probably about 60 feet from beginning to end but okay. some of them are shorter in between and you can bypass any of the caves so if you have a family and somebody doesn't want to go through or they have an infant you can stay with your party and sometimes people with infants will somebody will wait outside and then when they come out they'll swap off so that they can go through the caves but there's a boardwalk that takes you through the whole thing so that safety wise for both the environment and for the people that are there um, it's a hundred percent so it's just a really cool place and it's one of the few things that I think nowadays with the way that technology has advanced and everything seems to focus on that that mm. this is just down to earth, it's a lot of fun. Our caves are still lit by um, liquid paraffin lanterns, so there's no electricity down in there. And we have a lot of people that come with teenagers, and they say it's one of the nicest things that when adolescence is going through that they don't want to do anything with family yeah. age, that it's a way of everybody kind of coming back together. And a lot of generations, we have a huge amount of return guests. And we have parents and grandparents now bringing kids or grandkids. We have young couples that come in that say, I think I've been here when I was a kid. And so now they're bringing their significant other with them. So it's, it's really neat listening to people coming that, you know, have been in the past. And we tell them we haven't moved any of the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Things are still in the same place, but you can enjoy it as down and dirty as you want to get, or yep. you can just kind of walk and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Well, it's a lot of fun, and I think for me, one of the attractions is uh, I know the story of the two brothers who originally discovered Lost River Gorge 150 years ago or whatever it was, the Lyman brothers, right? Yep. And they, they went out for a day of fishing along the creek, and they fell through uh, something or other, and they discovered this world of caves and when you go to Lost River Gorge you kind of feel like you know those two young children discovering this natural wonder on your own it's like where did these caves leave lead and you, you, you just kind of get swept up in the magic of that moment um, so 100 year anniversary and you guys are having lots of activities we I are. know there are almost too many to mention but what are some of the things that you guys are doing um, one of the really uh, I think one of the significant ones besides the fun things that we're doing um, we Lost River has been consistently open uh, actually before the Forest Society bought it and it was run by the brothers but then when they bought it in 1912 it has been open since then except for the few years while World War II was going on and all of the the men that were there as part of the the guides and the staff were out fighting the war and so for part of um, honoring that on Wednesdays we're going to have any active um, military personnel can come in for free and then we have some speakers that will be July and August that will be on Thursday evenings and there's a really cool list of, of those Ben Killam is one of them that's that's coming up mm. um, the Science Center will be there so in all of that's uh, accessible on our website which is www.lostrivergorge.com Lost River Gorge. Uh, what's your schedule? Are you open right now? We are. We actually opened a week early because of Mother Nature having not given us too much snow um, and we are, have been open with the rain. Uh, it's, it's one of those things people always ask what's the best time to come to Lost River and it doesn't matter whether it's raining 
or if it's the sun is shining. Sometimes right after it's rained or when it's raining is really one of the prettiest times. Mm. Though some of the caves may be closed, the waterfalls that come in off the sides are absolutely phenomenal. Um, and then the other really cool thing that we do at night and during July and August is the lantern tours. Mm. And those are by reservation, but very well attended and in a whole different way to see the gorge. That's awesome. I've got to do that this summer. Put it on, putting it on my bucket list. I'm going to put you on the reservation list. Okay, you I'll, do that, I'll do that too right <laughs> after this interview. Uh, Deb Williams, Lost River Gorge. Uh, I'm Chris Pru, and you are watching White Mountains TV.